Welcome back guys, Patrick here, moving on to the next question. This one's gonna be fairly uh, difficult, a lot trickier than the ones we did before in this section. So we're told this track here has a perimeter of 400 meters. What dimensions of the shaded rectangular field below, so this field that's in the middle of the track, will maximize the area of the field? So where do we even begin here? Well, I say, that uh, we start off by labeling the width and the length of the rectangular field. So let's say we let the uh, width be x and then the length be y. So then we know area of that rectangular field is gonna be what? x times y. So that's where we're gonna have to try to maximize. The problem right now is that this area function that we have is in terms of two variables. And in order for us to be able to work with it, it has to be in terms of one variable. So what we can do is we could somehow use this perimeter of 400 meters in order to relate the two variables. Then we could plug them in there, then hopefully have it in terms of one. So we're told the perimeter of this whole track is equal to 400. So notice that there are four parts to this perimeter. There's this part here, there's this part here, this part, and then that part there. So notice that these two parts out of the four, we already have variables for them. Each one is y, so it's basically two of them, so 2y. The problem is we don't have an expression for this part of the field or this one here. But notice that both of those parts, they're just semicircles. So they're half of the same circle. So if we uh, take this rectangular field out and combine these two, you would just have a circle and the diameter of this circle would be x. And what is the circumference of a circle equal to? Well, the circumference of a circle is just 2 pi r, but another way to write it is just pi times the diameter because 2 times the radius is equal to the diameter of a circle. Right? The radius is just half of the diameter. So you could take this 2 and this r, combine them together, and that gives us the diameter. So this is another way to get the circumference of a circle, pi times the diameter. So the circumference of this circle here is going to be pi times x because we let x be the diameter of that circle. So that means that the perimeter of this whole track is 2y plus pi x, right? Because this and this is just the circumference of that circle, which is pi x here. And we know that this is equal to 400. So now things are looking a lot better. What we can do is we could take this constraint for the perimeter, isolate for one of the variables, and then plug it into the function that we are trying to maximize. So I'm gonna erase all of this here. So the trickiest part of this question was getting this expression here. First letting these, uh, introducing these variables here, and then getting this expression for the perimeter of the track. So we can isolate for either y or x and then plug it in there. So I'm going to choose to isolate for the y, so I'm going to bring the pi x over. So I'll have 400 minus pi x is equal to 2y. Then I can divide everything by 2 to get the y by itself. So we'll have y is equal to 200 minus pi over 2x or pi x over 2. Now this pi over 2, that's just like a constant in front of the x. So now I could take this expression, plug it in for y. So I'll have area equals x times 
200 minus pi over 2 x. And now notice that we have an area function in terms of one variable. It's all in terms of x. This pi here is a constant. Right? So we have it got rid of the y, have it all in terms of the x now, and now we can find where the maximum area is going to happen. Now, a couple of ways you can um, do this. Notice it's already in factor form here, so you can find the intercepts if you want. Another thing you can do is you can expand this, so we would have 200x minus pi over 2x squared. So we could rewrite this as negative pi x squared plus 200x, right? That's the quadratic in standard form, just expanded it. And then we could complete the square on this. But notice working with this pi over two as a constant, factoring that out, that's gonna be a little bit uh, difficult. So in my opinion, what you should do is you should work with this factored form. So area, equals x bracket 200 minus pi over 2 x. Then from here, I would just find the intercepts. So basically, when is the area going to be 0? Well, that's going to happen when x is 0, right? The x is by itself. Or it's going to happen when 200 minus pi over 2 x is equal to 0. So we just have to isolate for this x here. Now, this pi over 2 x, we could write that as pi x over 2. So to isolate for this x, let's bring this over. So we'll have pi x over 2. It's going to be over 1. And then we could cross multiply. So 400 is equal to pi x and then divide both sides by pi. So x would be 400 over pi. So x is 0, x is 400 over pi. Those are the intercepts. So if we um, were to draw this, I'm actually going to erase this here. So we'll have the area, and then we'll have x over here. So the two intercepts are 0 and 400 over pi. And if you remember when we expanded this, the leading coefficient was negative pi over 2x squared. So the leading coefficient, the a value, is negative. So we know that this is going to be opening down. So it's going to give us a maximum area here. Well, since we have the two intercepts of 0 and 400 over pi, we could find the x value that will give us the maximum area. So we could just add those two intercepts and divided by 2. So doing that here, the x value of the vertex would be 0 plus 400 <clears throat> over pi divided by 2. So that's like 400 pi, 400 over pi, sorry, divided by 2 or times 1 over 2. Right? Dividing by 2 or times by 1 over 2, same thing. So notice 400 times 1 over 2 is 200, then the pi just stays, so this would be 200 over pi. So the maximum area is happening when x is 200 over pi. Okay, and then uh, from there, so notice we have the width of the um, rectangular field where the area is maximized. <clears throat> and if you remember, y was equal to what? 200 minus pi over 2x. It's right there in this bracket. So we could actually find out what this y is because we know what the x is. So we could just plug it in here. So this would be 200 over pi. When we multiply these two, the pi's cancel out. 1 over 2 times 200 gives us 100. So we'd have 200 minus 100, which gives us 100. Right? So the dimensions are 200 over pi for x 
and 100 meters for y. So the answer to this question is basically 200 over pi times 100. That's the dimensions of the rectangular field that will maximize the area. Now, what if they asked you for the maximum area? Notice we just have the dimensions. Sorry, these are in meters. What if they asked us for the maximum area? Well, we can just write this out. We could write out our area function and we could plug in this x value for the vertex, 200 over pi. Well, we know the x value would be 200 over pi. And this bracket we already did on the side, we got 100 there. This is like 100 over 1. So basically, it's the two dimensions multiplied by each other, right? Length times width. So the maximum area in this case would be um, 20,000 over pi meters squared. So that would be here, 20,000 over pi, like that. 200 times 100 gives us 20,000. All right, so the coordinates of this vertex is 200 over pi, 20,000 over pi. They weren't asking for the maximum area, but thought I would show you how to get it in case they do. You would just take these two dimensions and multiply them by each other, right? So fairly tricky question. Again, the trickiest part is coming up with an expression for the perimeter, which is equal to 400, and then isolating for one of the variables. In this case, I isolated for that y. And then taking that factored form, getting the intercepts, dividing by two, what makes it all difficult is just working with that constant pi. It's always there, it's a little annoying, but uh, the same steps apply as any quadratic you're working with. Find the two intercepts, find the midpoint, that gave us the x value, and then with that x value, we could find the y value, which was 100, and then those are the dimensions. If they ever ask for the maximum area, we just multiply these two to get 20,000 over pi meters squared.